Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was at the APA show in Las Vegas this last week, and I took a class on macros, and the gentleman there actually mentioned this name, and I came home and looked it up and um, looked at their site, and this is I this is a free macro they've offered, and if it if their free ones work as well, I'm gonna really look at the other ones. This is kind of like find and replace. I'm going to find all these squares that are four by four, and I'm going to just hit select similar. It is selected, and I'm going to connect the delete key. It is selected all the similar squares. Now you might ask, ask, it left these two squares. Well, these two squares are a little bit different. I've turned them into curves, and they've actually got another node. So this time I'm going to put, and I've just played around with this for about 10 minutes node count and select similar it just selected those two squares that are similar it'll select colors it selected the three cubes with blue and then you could change it's just like find and replace you could change them to yellow it can detect outline we want to go with outline color select all there's only two the rest of the stars are red it will detect size. I only want to go with that size. It only does those three. So you could have stars and pick all the stars that are that size and delete them or whatever you want to do to them. This is pretty interesting on nodes. This one is a curve on one layer. You grab the shape tool and click on an item. It tells you the nodes. I've got eight nodes. This one, I have eight nodes. This one only has seven nodes. So let's try this. I want to pick the ones with just eight nodes. It only picked that two. It didn't pick that one. This is pretty cool. Macromonster.com. And I believe I'm going to be looking at their site quite a bit more. I love macros. More to come. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.